Oh, heavens no. seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. If there were an emergency, would you be able to find the doorknob? Or should I tie a bright yellow ribbon on it? What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do. Oh, Arthur. For heaven's sake, focus. That one was perfectly harmless. <laughs> well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. Nothing wrong with that one. Nesta wonders what life's like outside the tube. Of course he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? Behind in our work now that you mention it. In fact, you don't have to put up with it at all. Being in working well means never having to say, I'm sorry. 
There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Harder. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Oh, lord. Call security. Down. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Take your joy. Take your joy. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. You smell gas? Flame and Nora. Forget him, there's no time! Only those bastards chased me. There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village.
I'll need some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. What happened to him? Or rather, who? Us. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I I promise. But but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for we'll look out for each other.
That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. But I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet. Parade District, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. This doesn't give me food poisoning.
benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit got into the garden. The rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret message. Coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. Well, that's terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. Oh, just a... Uh... a bit risky. Look what happened to Goldilocks.
Nice suit. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die. Then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there. With the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back from me. I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, oh, and you'll need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have stole most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. A rose of Gilead. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Maybe I can make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds. Otherwise, I'll never feel better. Garden district, don't they? I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub.
be thirsty. I better find something to drink. Where's a pub when you need one? There's a pump on Barrow Home, isn't there? to fill up a canteen or two, shouldn't I? This ought to be pretty clean. Unlike in the village, where they spike it with joy. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices.
lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. But we'll leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. Piece line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper is supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, let's choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chaps some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Hey, sort of guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come on strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that. Shall we, oh? How about we let the birds have a 
charge. If you lost your bet on Defoe, now's your chance to have a double or quits. I've got a sinking feeling. Oh God, this on. Oh God. Sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. Don't need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motiline dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals.
I think that's everything I had when they jumped me. you actually. So I can go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals, and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. All right, now I just need that power seal. Sublimated dimotoline, the fuel of the future now. <gasps> if I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes.
Oh, to beat. Please just lie down. <sighs> Nothing personal. Thank you. 
occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Hello? Anyone out there? Christ, oh my. Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here. Over here. Do you want to get thrashed? Come in. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death, you better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy and it like flips a switch and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Shh. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red. And, and her voice was like Mum when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in a tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15pm. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you. Arthur. I love you too. I got your medals. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back into the sea. Then they came back in 43. They weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah, sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to cross the bridge.
don't think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. If there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. Sleep, the poor man's dinner. Locked. Aha, uh -huh. but I remember how to make a lock pick. He's just another rotten downer like us. Welcome to the bloody garden district. At least there are flowers out here. Never thought it would come to this, did we? This too shall pass, I suppose. Watch out for the ones with the plague. They look sick, but then they suddenly become wild dogs. go to school together. Miss Bing's class. It's best not to fight, if you can help it. Shove them away and just run as fast it's as you can. It's actually sort of pretty at night. In a fatal sort of way. Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? It's nice to talk. <laughs> it's good to talk. You 
stupid being out after dark. It could be worse. I think. If you find fresh food, don't try to hoard it. The blight turns things rotten sooner than you think. After dark, love. Best stay out of sight. I don't know how you feel. I better not catch you getting into my stuff. At least we're alive. Right. If you get a cut out here, you better bandage it up. You can get an infection just from a scratch. Hello. Stay away from the ones with the plague. It's a terrible way to die. Sandman. Are you all right? Stay out of the fog. It bites. Bloody hell, I've forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. Oh dear. One bridge down, and I'm off to the train station. This is where we hang them, isn't it? They broke into the police station, tried to burn the register so the Germans wouldn't know which kids to take. We didn't want the Germans to be angry, did we? We were so scared, or maybe just so tired, so we hanged them to encourage the others. I wonder if we'd made the Germans take the kids by force instead of bringing them down to the station singing London Bridge if things would be different now. <gasps> <coughs> I hope that's the worst thing I remember. Says the chap heading to the train station. Oh, what? Lovely memories are waiting for me there. At least I can get on the train tracks there and get the hell out of town. Now I just need to find the train station. Hard to be able to see it from a distance. Thank you. 
And here we are. Not quite as grand as it used to be. Of course, there hasn't been a train since the germs left. Still, the tracks go from here all the way to the bridge, and then across the river. And then all over Britain. I wonder if Prue made it this far. I wonder what... What are we going to do if there isn't food? Will you shut it? I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, lock up your board bags. I'll piss in your corpses. We're coming for you, you greedy bastard! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! You're done hoarding all the V-meat! Sniff you are. You rubbish, you hide and seek. Work something out. No. Please don't make a fuss.
fuck was that? This won't take a minute. Down to the tracks. Now we see the violence inherent in the system.
that's how I get down. Right. Huh. Now I'll just have to find the tracks and walk on out of Wellington Wells. I'm so sorry, Percy. I should have got on the train with you, like I promised. The rule was if a kid was a day over 13, what could I do? You could have kept your mouth shut, Arthur, and not told them you were 13. That's what you could have done.
must I go with him? And you are too old to go to Germany, are you not? Please, no! You can't take care of yourself! I told him I wanted to board even if I was ten days too old, but we don't make the rules anymore, Mr. Hastings. I shouldn't have told him they got my birthday wrong. Don't even know why I did. Should have just kept quiet and got on the train. Some sort of caving. So much for walking down the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. What the fuck do I do now? Oh look! Oh, it's a little lost lamb. Where's Bo Peep? In your curtsy way, I bet. <laughs> That's little Miss Muppet, you Muppet. Uh, 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 can we pound him now? Yep. <laughs>
Bloody hell. That's Ollie. Ollie! Come for me, have you? Ollie? I'm Arthur! You won't get me! You won't get me, you bastard! Ollie! No! It's Arthur! Bloody murdering wastrels! You go mental! I'll save you, Margaret! I'm your old neighbour, Artie! Always lying! Little Artie! Artie's gone! They took him away! Ollie, no! They You're didn't! You're lying! You're a wastrel! Ollie, it's Arthur! Well, why didn't you see that before? Oh my god, Artie. Little Artie. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Watch your mouth, laddie. What would your mum think? I thought they took you away. No. They had my birthday wrong. What? Sorry? No, of course not. No, you've got it all wrong. That was Jack turned you in and I what tried to save you. Right. I remember now. You came back. From the station. The only one. You don't think they hurt him? Percy. The Germans aren't animals, you know. They just wanted to make sure we stay quiet. And we did. Spot of tea? Uh, that's very kind of you. I I'm not thirsty. That's right, Margaret. We have to run after water. <laughs> I have to find him. Any idea where he might be after all these years? Not really. I know I have to get out of Wellington Wells. I, th I thought I could take the train tracks to the bridge. Aye. The only way to the Britannia Bridge is the train station and the parade. And good luck getting into the parade. You could stay here. Remember when you and Sally used to stay with me? When the... But it's young Artie. Meg, you remember Artie, don't you? No room at the inn for young Artie? No. You're right. You're always right. Sorry. Margaret says it's best if I keep to myself. Oh. Sorry to bother. But... Margaret thinks we could help each other. Really? Uh, brilliant! There's a warehouse. In the old German camp, we could burgle it. The Victory Memorial Camp? Where all those home army chaps run around practicing stabbing people with bayonets? What, what do you want me to do there? Run around yelling, here I am, shoot me, while you go in under the wire? There's uh, a thing I need from their warehouse. If you help me, I'll get you out of Wellington Wells. I just need you to turn off the power in the camp. And this isn't going to get me killed. Don't be a great girl's blouse. I'll meet you at the bunker after dark. Don't worry about the sentries on the bridge. I'll make sure they get a good night's sleep. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Shall I just show myself out then? Ollie? I don't actually know the way out, you know. <laughs> <laughs>